let me tell you a little bit about Argo Workflows. Argo Workflows is a container-native workflow engine for orchestrating jobs on Kubernetes. In other words, Argo Workflows lets you create and run advanced workflows entirely on your Kubernetes cluster. Argo Workflows is a list of killer features that set it apart from similar products. These include a fully featured UI, native artifact support to download, transport, and upload your files during runtime, templating and composability to define and reuse workflows, a native workflow archive for auditing, cron workflows for scheduled workflows, and a fully featured REST API. Argo Workflows has robust retry mechanisms for reliability and is highly scalable, capable of managing thousands of pods and workflows in parallel. Many reputable organizations in academia and industry use Argo Workflows for ML, ETL, data processing, and CI-CD pipelines. Argo Workflows is also fully open source and is an incubating project at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. To start, let's learn two very basic concepts in Argo Workflows. The first is the workflow, which is how you define and run your workflows. The second is a workflow template, which is a definition of a workflow that is persistent on the cluster. You can submit workflow templates as a whole in case you have workflows that you submit often, or you can use them as libraries in your cluster, where commonly used parts of workflows live and are referenced during runtime. Demo time. To start, let me show you how easy it is to manage artifacts with Argo workflows. On the left, I have Argo's UI, and on the right, I have a terminal window. Note that both read and write from Kubernetes, and therefore display the same information. In this workflow, we have two steps, one called generate artifact, and the other one called consume artifact. In the first, we generate a file and then use the very same file in the subsequent step. Notice how all we have to do is tell Argo we'd like to save the file as an output in the first step and tell it that we'd like to use it in the second step. Argo Workflows magically places the file in our second step and can be accessed from the container just like any other local file. In this example, we only pass an artifact from one step in the workflow to another, but it's possible and common to download and upload files to cloud providers such as S3 and Google Cloud. Looks like our workflow is finished. Here we can see that our first step did indeed generate a file, and our second step is able to cat its contents. For our second demo, I want to show you a simple example of Argo's templating features. Here is a list of workflow templates. As a reminder, workflow templates are definitions of workflows that are persistent on the cluster and can be called by running workflows or submitted on their own. The workflow template at the very top accepts a string parameter and displays it with the CowSafe program. Let's create all of these workflow templates on our cluster. We can verify that they were in fact created correctly by opening the workflow templates tab in our UI. Now we want to create a workflow that references one of our workflow templates. Notice that we can that we call the workflow template from this workflow and that we pass the parameter it requires. Let's submit it. We can see that our workflow did indeed did use our persisted definition from the cluster. In this demo, we were only able to cover a tiny slice of the myriad of powerful features of Argo workflows. To learn more about them and to see a multitude of examples, we encourage you to visit our website, our GitHub repo, 
read, read our blog and join our Slack. Thank you very much.